Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. Um, I'm going to talk today about some kind of touchy issues, but really, I don't really have any scriptures. i got plenty of them on my other uh, channels, but um, this one's, you know, I'm kind of going to direct you to the video I got out about uh, the abortion issue, how God sees America um, concerning abortion. Um, you know, my wife and I deal a lot with a homeless ministry um, in downtown uh, every Sunday night. And we're real quick to slap labels on things, people. Of course it, of course it is. Of course it's a sin. You know, but we, you know, make one bigger than the other. There is a solution, and the solution is Jesus. You just got to watch the video. Um, one piece of it. A big piece of it is the church, the body of Christ. Um, I know a, a really sweet couple, um, some friends of ours, that just recently adopted, and they were pretty brokenhearted about it for a long time because they couldn't have children. And they adopted somebody that was probably a candidate for an abortion. Um, they adopted their child. So... That's just one piece of it. I'm still praying into it. I don't, you know, uh, right now I'm just in the prayer, prayer mode. I got a couple different uh, websites I've been looking at. I'm going to kind of just have to really dive into it and spend some time on it. Um, but I've been more concentrating on just getting out the messages that the Lord's been giving me. Um, finishing this book, which is coming out called Jesus Christ in You, The Hope of Glory and How We're His Glory, We're His Story, We're His Voice more of the voice for the unborn. Um, I heard one pastor say, you know, he's out in San Francisco. Of course we know that area. This isn't, you know, going to be a popular, warm, fuzzy piece of the message, but, you know, it's concerning the gay issue, homosexual issue. He said when people, walk, two guys walk into his church holding hands, he said he doesn't focus on that as being the, you know, it's more about the surrender piece. He said he's just as harsh, not harsh, but just as adamant about the divorce, if you're divorcing your wife because you're sleeping with somebody else's wife or whatever, sin is sin, guys. So that's kind of part of it. You know, we're real, you know, slap labels on everything, uh, name calling, just kind of exposing things. Uh, that's another one of my messages about exposure. Jesus is, has, you know, Read Matthew 7. I think it's Matthew 7. Yeah, it's Matthew 7. Uh, about the woman caught in adultery. You know, Jesus has a reason for his exposure. He's the light of the world. He wants to expose our sin because it separates us from the love of God. But he has a solution for it. We don't. Most of it is just a bunch of rhetoric and name-calling and vain debates and just take your sign down, guys. You know, I'm, it's got a lot to say, and I guess so this is going along the lines of not a lot of scripture. It's kind of like, you know, I mean, look at one of the other ones I put out there. The other video is about praying for Donald Trump as a person, as a man, because he's in a world of hurt, guys. Put that out in December. I saw it coming, you know. Probably not going to find much about Russia. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Mueller seems like a pretty smart guy, but he's, you know, he's a cop. He's kind of zeroing in on that. That's kind of his focus. I'm not downplaying the guy. Um, I don't think he's, like, malicious or, or evil or anything. I think he's just doing what he's designed to be, focused on where, where you know, and who he is. He's probably pretty good at it. Seems pretty good at it. He seems pretty level-headed. I mean, I'm, you know, might be a little political, but, you know. They're going to go, you know, I said in the video, they're going to go after the money issue, you know, his taxes and maybe some of the, you know, seemingly unscrupulous things that people do in business. A lot of them do it. More than, more than we realize, you know. But our focus needs to be on Jesus and all this other stuff. You know, it's kind of like a stripping away. Jesus wants our heart. That's why I said pray for the guy, you know. 
And, and there's a little bit of, you know, I forget the guy's name, Nadler or whatever. He makes some sense about some of the stuff he's doing. And so does this guy that's over the House and Ways and Means Committee about how we shouldn't go after his taxes because that's kind of a slippery slope. Then we kind of politicize it and zero in on it. He said that the IRS already has, you know, the whole division that does the criminal activity. We should leave it in their hands. Well, you know, that, that does make some sense. Yeah, I, I get it. I, you know, there's... All this vicious, malicious hatred and just name calling and, you know, I mean, it happened from both sides, you know, not even really a side. But where's Jesus in all this, guys? That's what I'm trying to say, you know, the world is just all kind of twisted up into this stuff. And the church is too, guys, you know, I mean, a lot of it is just, you know, nonsense, you know. So... Really, anyhow, that's kind of where I'm at. You know, I'm looking at, I've looked at some videos about, you know, the church swirl war. Well, what do we expect? It says in the last days, in the, in the end times, it's going to be perilous times. Men will be lovers of themselves more than lovers of God. And just read on about it, you know. Some ministries are like, yeah, bring all, bring all your money and your tithes into the storehouse. Okay, great. Awesome. That's scriptural. But then, you know, talk is cheap. What are their actions? Not going into the storehouse, going into their house. $10 million co compound for their, them, their kids, and whatever, you know, filled with antiques and stuff. And, you know, one list of one antique was showed this $20,000 dresser. Or, or I don't know if it was a dresser, but I'm like, man, I want to pay $200 for this, for the thing, you know? Waste. All about themselves, fluff and stuff. It's, you know, what are their actions? Talk is cheap, like I said, you know. They could go do a lot of good. That's part of where the church is missing on this abortion issue, you know. What about cultivating these women, bringing them to Jesus and the guys, too. Don't forget the guys, you know. Yeah, they sinned. Yeah, they made some stupid mistakes. Bring them in. Buy him a $10,000 car, send him, help send him to college. But teach him about Jesus first. Guys, make that be a prerequisite. We can't capture everybody, but we can get some of them. So anyhow, you know, time to, to dig into, you know, our wallets and our pocketbooks and, you know, set the captives free instead of all, all this stuff, fluff and stuff. And, you know, the world's gone the way of the entertainment. Bigger bands, bigger, you know, this event, that event, I'm here, I'm there, and you know, this building, that building. I drove down this very, you know, wealthy part of Dallas, and it's only wealthy because people claim it to be wealthy. It's White Rock Lake area. And there's this big denominational church, and it's like this big edifice. Might as well be a mausoleum. Waste of money. Huge, huge building. A huge 30-foot tall ceiling well guess what twice the space to air conditioning so guess what twice the bill so guess what twice the amount of money wasted on stupidness no wonder the world's mad at, at the church you know it's it's egotistical crap no different than the world you know but anyhow, um, it's time for us to just, it's going to be a street fight, guys. It's time for us to get involved in people's lives, the messiness of it, the, the people that are on drugs, the brokenness, all the stuff that's just running rampant throughout this country because the church kind of just dropped the ball and we're so busy building, building some building and something, not even him. Well, one of my messages, surfs, turfs, and kingdoms that aren't of me. That's what God told me. You know, we're busy. Look at me. Look, 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 look what I've done for God. Enough bull, guys. So anyhow, I'm going to step up to the plate on this abortion issue because that's one kind of a key thing. Um, with you, when you listen to my message about it, it's kind of like, man, it was kind of sobering what God showed me. It took me a year and a half to, I was like, God, you really want me to say that? Took me a while to pray through the delivery piece of it, but I did. So I'm still praying. I'm going to put together some stuff to kind of, you know, 
you know, the path that I'm saying, um, if I had the financial resources, I'd already be doing some of this stuff that I'm saying, but I don't, but I will one day, but right now I don't, you know, some, and, you know, we give away a lot and just, just, you know, right now I'm doing what I can do. Um, and that's pray about this and try to put some stuff together and look at some of these organizations and see which ones kind of fit and, uh, you know, what I'm saying. So, um, Sorry, there's no scriptures in this one. There's plenty of them in my other ones. Um, plenty of them in the, the book that's coming out, Jesus Christ in You, The Hope of Glory, which I'm working on today. Can have it finished this week. Email me at steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com next week, and I can send you a copy. Um, it's not going to be completed, though. It's about three months out from completion, but the Lord dealt with me. There's several people in my life that... Um, are knocking on death's door, basically, that are really sick, that he highlighted and told me to get it out for them and a couple other people. So I was like, okay, God, it's going to be kind of raw. He said, that's okay. So that's what I'm going to do. So if you want a raw copy of it, um, not completed, going to be a lot of a lot of errors in it, you know, as far as like the technicality part of it. I'm not an author, guys. I'm, you know, trying to get some help now to do it. Don't have all the resources to, to produce this book like I need probably, but I'm going to use what I got. So anyhow, we love you guys. Um, kind of want to please just share some of my other videos, look at them in depth. Um, it's not about me. Never was. I'm just directional. Uh, I'm going to end with this. Who's your source? Should be God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, and his word. So, Get it for yourselves. Don't be these serfs and these people that church world is just trying to coddle and hoodwink God. And you know, what are their actions portraying? What are they really? What are they really doing? The vast majority of them, nothing but self, self-centered, egotistical, talking about this culture and that culture uh just talking about a lot about just targeted audiences and stuff when you start hearing all that kind of stuff guys it's like man yeah. probably time to run but anyhow you know because it, it, it's not going to be about that it's not about us look at gideon gideon's the story of gideon and his army 30 some thousand, 33,000. God said, you know, I'm not going to let you win because you're going to just try to get the glory. Paired it down to 300 and seemingly nonsense stuff that they did. Why? Because he wants the glory. It's not us. It's not going to be about our ministries or our names or our buildings or our denomination or non-denomination or our tent or not tent or whatever. It's not, guys. Give me one at the Homeless shelters, the hospital, people, people are lying, laying there dying on death's bed, about to enter in. The jailhouses, the mental institutions, are we really helping these people? Are we just kind of just casting them aside? A form of godliness, but denying the power there? We, you know, we, it's, it's, what are we doing, guys? To reach people. Too busy doing just like the world does, stacking stuff up. Oh, I'm blessed. I got this car and that car, a $65 million jet, $55 million jet, begging for offerings. Really? What's wrong with you guys? I get it. I understand. You know, the Lord dealt with me. I got a whole book full of cities and some states and even countries that the Lord's been highlighting and telling me to go to. We went to quite a few of them already, all the way from normal Illinois to some little town in Pennsylvania. Well, it cost, you know, do the math. I mean, we were gone 14 days, a $200, $250 a day budget. I get it. Some things take money. I understand that, but some things don't. But what are we doing with this? It's, you know, it's time for the body of Christ to get a grip. Strategic. You know, you could be a billionaire. Start out today and 
throw a billion dollars out at the problem, the homeless problem. Four o'clock this afternoon, you'd be broke. You wouldn't even put a dent into it. Maybe solve it for a day or two, not even maybe. I don't know, but so, but it's more strategic. Be specific, intentional. After the people that want to serve Christ, after his body, helping those that are making that choice, that are choosing Jesus. That's why I put on that title. That's what the Lord told me to do. It is about choice. Choose Jesus, life, not death. But do that in all things that we do, guys. In every aspect of our lives. So anyhow, um, sorry this is long and not very many scriptures. And, you know, I just needed to put this out there. Kind of just, I'm not even really venting. I'm just, need, you know, just, okay, God, what do you want me to say? So anyhow, that's kind of where I'm going and headed. Um, time to just, you know, just... Be like Larry the Cable Guy. Just get her done. Do it. What's God telling you to do? Instead of, you know, the selfish, self-centered, fleshly, egotistical world. Me, 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 me. And the, the world hasn't crept into the church. It's part of it. All about it. The hoodwinking God. I think we can slap a label on it. Just like we slap labels on people's sins, we slap a label of God on it, think everything's okay, and we can just, God wants to bless you. Like it's a big ATM, you put $100 in, you get back 1000 I heard one preacher, two people got $10,000, run on down here. Man, guys. But if God puts it on your heart to do that, great, awesome. Give, do it. But, you know, it's time to get get people for, you know, get Jesus in people's lives and quit trying to get this program or building or I got this ministry or that ministry or this talk show or that talk show or this, how, or, you know, come part of the world and TV and swirl and stuff and things and <sighs> most of it's just hoopla and just garbage. Nothing to do with God or Jesus. Taken out of the equation. Nobody might ever even see you doing what you're what you're doing for God, you know. So, so what? That's one thing he told me. He said, you know, the church world's trying to busy fill, filling up this event and coliseums and bigger bands and brighter lights and most of it looks like a rock concert to me i saw one on youtube and all this stuff was just flashing and reminded me of my days when i was on lsd as a kid as a teenager no different tripping and flipping like a big strobe light nothing about god nothing about jesus an event trying to fill up this building place that's what he told me. He said, they're trying to fill up coliseums. And he said, I'm trying to empty out the jailhouses, mental houses, hospitals, homeless shelters, people that are on drugs. Going to get a little messy, guys. Where's your heart really at? You know? Just, I mean... Not really, you know, trying to accuse people and be the finger pointing guy and all that. I'm just, you know, the reason why it gets to me a little bit, I'm still working on delivery probably, but the reason why it's getting to me is because I'm in the ministry too. God's given me authority too. And I just don't like what I see, the, the misuse of this, of this of the misuse and abuse of, of just stuff. Claiming to be a God, move God. This and that, and it's not really, you know, what are the, I mean, kind of like right in your face, out in the open, and it's like, in plain sight, hidden in plain sight. What's it, you know, you can see the motives of, of a lot of it. It's like, man, where are we getting all this nonsense? Like I said, who's your source? I'm not telling you to believe, I don't, you know, I don't want a bunch of clones. I don't want people to follow me. I'm not looking to build a church or anything. I'm just not a following or anything. 
I just want to be about my father's business. Read Matthew 20, guys. It's one of the other things that I talk about a lot. Kind of cuts through all the crap and it, the quality pieces right there. You could be the doorkeeper or the chief pastor or whatever, you know. Big name, big dog. <clears throat> same. Jesus paid them all the same. At the end of the day, the last came, got paid. Didn't do hardly anything. Then the people that did supposedly all the work came. And their pay was the same and they copped an attitude. That's kind of where a lot of people are at. It's like, me, 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 me. <laughs> I'm going to put on these guys, these glasses, but these spiritual glasses and look through the spiritual eyes and open up. Shun the very appearance of evil. Yeah, you know, just get away from them. Don't follow them. Don't listen to their vain rhetoric. Listen to God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, and his word. Can't go wrong there. Dive into that. That's all. That's what I'm telling you. That's the direction I'm telling you to go. You know, and it, it may yours may look a little different than mine. That's okay. Why do you think God made us made us individuals and a little different? It's like when you go to walk. Okay. Well, your brain had to tell your legs to walk to, to, through the nerves or whatever. You had to have legs and feet. Well, you had to have an eye to see. You had to have a big toe to keep your balance. Well, your eye's not your toe, and your toe's not your eye. But you need both. You need all of them. It all fits together, body fitly framed together. That's why I said, you know, you can be the doorkeeper or the greeter or whatever. Or maybe not even go to church. Maybe your church, you know, we met a pastor that built a church in a bar. A bar, guys. The back of a bar. Up on this little stage area in the back of the bar. But he said he's been reaching people that be sitting there drunk. You know, most people are going to give you the stink eye over that. I don't know. What's God telling you, you know? It's like, man, guys, it's just, you know. Instead, we want all the flashiness and the showboatiness and the, you know, be blessed of God so we can buy a new Mercedes Benz or whatever, you know? Well, you know, I mean, my wife and I got a pretty decent Toyota Camry for 20 grand. Runs really good at low mileage. You know, I mean, use what you got instead of all, you know, we just no better than no better than the world when we when we pick up all that stuff, guys. No wonder they just wanting to bash bash Christianity and, and the church because so many people are mis you know misusing God. For their own personal gain. YouTube's full of it. It's all out there, guys. So, you know. I mean, there's just... Look at my video on it. It's a heart issue. There's just, there's a lot to this, guys. And I'm not the only one ministering this. That's not me. It's not, I'm not... I'm not it. I'm not God. I'm not singled out hero of the whole show. I'm not. One of many. But I got to get it out there. You know, I'm just kind of at that point where it's like, okay, God, th this is my prayer. Okay, God, I, things are showing me, but I don't want to have an attitude with it. I don't. So, you know, I'm still working on a lot of the stuff that he's showing me and the delivery piece of it because it's like, man, I got to get some of the stuff out there. But at the same time, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be any different than the rest of the world. Look at the political world. What a mess, guys. Most of it. Pick a side, pick a, pick a brand, pick a, pick a name, throw one out there. This last 2016 election, mostly, you know, Dirt from both sides. Who was dirtier? Wasn't I mean trash, name calling? 
character assassination. Just because we disagree with people. They're definitely, you know, what about Jesus? Guys, it's time that you know that it's just it's time to put put him in the mix of this. I'm gonna end with this. You know, MAGA hats or whatever, make America great again. Well, ain't no man gonna do that. I don't know, stupid hat. Take your hat off, take your sign down, guys. I don't care if you don't like it. Jesus is what's gonna make America great again, not some stupid slogan or political or even, you know, even this abortion mess. Laws aren't gonna solve it. Yeah, we shouldn't have, we shouldn't, it shouldn't be legal, of course not. We shouldn't allow it. We shouldn't let it just be the law of the land and let everybody do whatever they want to do because they're just covering up one sin with another. Sin of fornication outside of, outside of wedlock. So convenient, wash it away and do away with it and call it something that's not. Call it a fetus or a embryo or whatever. It's a life, guys. Sorry. But I'm not trying to shame you into stuff. I'm trying to say, you know, it's time for the church to pony up. People that are really true believers of Christ, really, you know. So, you know, this, this is getting kind of long. I'm sorry, but, you know, some people may have watched it, may not have. But anyhow, we, we love you guys. God bless you all. Um, hope to talk to you soon. Um, I'm going to put out some more videos. I've just been kind of just a little overwhelmed with some of the stuff that the Lord's been dealing with me about. He's been waking me up one two three in the morning and i've just given me scriptures and trying to finish this book which i kind of feel a little bit of pressure from um but i got to get it out there about how we're his glory it's time for us to shine and rise and shine quit shirking back and neglecting our responsibility it may be just in your family it may be at your job, it may be out there in the world, whatever, you know, but take a stand for what you know is right and true and holy and acceptable, pure and clean. Of course he wants us to live like that. That's what it says. He wants a bride without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. Read the marriage supper of the land. Read with the wedding when he called everybody to the wedding. All that stuff to do and went some other way. And the king got, you know, they, they even killed his servant. So what did he do? He wiped him out, killed him. But then he tells his servants, go out and, you know, compel my people to come in. So the wedding can be filled. You know, I mean, are we even really, you know, do, listening to what, what God's saying? No, we've got all this stuff. You know, sidetrack shells and stuff and fluff and things and purposes and ministries and callings and elections and <clears throat> I'm gonna end with this. Kinda hurt me a little bit too because it was like, okay God, but told me he said it's time for people in the ministry to get over themselves. And he took me to Chronicles 7, 14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, turn from their wicked ways. Imagine that. Imagine praying, talking to God, finding out what's going on, what you got to get rid of, what's plaguing you. What can you lay aside, set aside? What do you, turn from your wicked ways? What? Humble yourselves? What? Most people are like, especially when they get an authoritative, powerful position. Do you know who I am? Better than mentality and less than, you know, I'm hearing from God and you're not. Pious, egotistical crap. For lack of a better word. Back to Matthew 20 again, and there's many other scriptures, guys. Look what Jesus did. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, who thought it not robbery to be equal with God. That's awesome. Run with that. Blast into it. Powerful. Look at me. I'm amazing. 
Read the rest of it. Took on the form of a servant, even unto death. Right before the cross, God, if it's possible, take this cup from me. But nevertheless, we want all the power and authority and money and prestige and stuff. But none of, but none of the other stuff that goes with it. Maybe a little bit of squeeze and a little bit of pressure, a little bit of dying out to self. We want to paint this, you know, everything's blessed picture. It still is. It always is when you're with Jesus, no matter what. But it's time to lay aside ourselves, guys. And die out to ourselves. So anyhow, this is kind of a long video. So anyhow, I hope some people watch it. But anyhow, God bless y'all. I'm going to end it. Uh, God, I didn't know it was going to take 30 minutes. So anyhow, God bless you. Uh, I will get back to you soon. Love you guys. Bye.